Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of uh, Let's Play Game of Thrones. So, previously in the last episode, it was the Red Wedding, pretty much. And we all know what, if you've watched the TV series, you all know what happens there. Luckily, Garrod managed to get away with his life Lord. and has Paris the sword. And now he's found right. blood on the King's Road. One thing I'm not sure, I can't remember if it's revealed or not, but... Oh, there's blood on that sword. Is that sword um, Valerian steel? I can't remember if it is or not. Dead pig. Oh, fire, smoke, fire, burn. Ah. And um, what's this? I forgot how you run. I know you can. Sure you can. I'm sure you can run. I I'm gonna have to have a look. See if I can go to the controls or something. That's father's car. Oh no. Something happened to his family. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Bloody Boltons. Hey! <coughs> Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father. I said move on. I'm going to kill Bloody you. Draw in my sword. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off. My land! This is Bolton land now, boy. No, it's not. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> Mate, I'm gonna frickin' cut your... I'll have that sword, boy. Kill him, Garrett. Kill him. Ah. Uh, you it. it. Oh. oh no. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. I failed, Lord Forrester. This is what I mean. I make choices like this, and I. Oh. You really are a pig. <laughs> Yes, Garrod. <laughs> yeah, that shoulder bull rush that he likes to do. Do a combat roll. Oh, you son of a whore. Yes, Garrett, even with one leg, you're still good. Whoa, nearly slipped down. Kill him. Please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. I'm going to show him mercy. Thank you. You owe me your life, friend. Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. At least I got my sword back. That's the main thing. Oh, poor Garrod. Garrod, you survived. Your sister. She hid. Oh no. I tried to stop them. Oh man, that sucks. Poor Garrod. That his sister, his dad's dead. Where's his mum? 
I'll kill the men who did this. Yes, we bloody well will. We will have our revenge. Ironrath, stronghold of House Forester. It looks really nice, that place does. Look at like, the, the forest in the background. It, it It's um, not aesthetic, yeah, I guess aesthetically pleasing, but it's uh, serene. Is it serene Get the word the master? Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Cal like calming and tranquil, that's the word. Pardon me. Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly! <laughs> Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. He kind of looks like you and McGregor. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Elves just walk all over us. Oh, These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Bits of it are... Uh, Hold the wound open for me, would you? Is coming. Uh, thing of it. Oh, bloody hell, that's a big cut, isn't it? Ooh. I bet that's a weird feeling. It's dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Okay, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Sorry, I've, I've, I've not been talking. I get too engrossed in the story and I've just sat there Go on. staring Don't at stop it. Now. <laughs> It's better to let the blood circulate. Right, we'll hobble around. Can we look at stuff? Look at the tapestry. Yeah, slowly fits of the story is coming back to me. I can remember certain things. I remember the rivalry with the White Horn. Right, My Myra, Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Uh, and then we've got Lady, Lady Forrester. Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. And then this is Ryan. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord, Lord Forrester. Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Uh, Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Uh, Talia, Talia and, and Ethan. They're twins, if I remember I correctly. I suppose Lord Ethan now. 
And then this is Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. I like this uh, guy, Asher. I think he's brilliant. Hmm. You uh, seem to be favouring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Of course I'm favouring it. I bloody got stabbed in the leg. And I've got maggots crawling rad. It's a nice chair. We'll have a quick look outside. The Ironwood Grove. <laughs> um, well, I guess I can't run now because I've got a, a hole in my leg, but I'm sure there's a... I literally, I played through the whole game and I found out right at the very end that you could run. And I can't I'm sure it's R2 actually. I seem to be walking faster if I hold R2. Slower. Yeah, I think it is R2 to pace around quicker. Uh, there's nothing else around here. What's... Let's have a look at the medical supplies. Uh, bandages pick up. You never know where my, le my legs might start bleeding. Or I might need some healing herbs. This might help. Especially if they're maggots need feeling. Uh, look at the bucket. Hey, more maggots. Look at them. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. It really is quite fascinating, like uh, maggots and leeches. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Like maggots eat the dead skin and stop infection, and like leeches, they drain by all the poison out of the blood and everything. No. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Let's talk to him. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Uh, what? Why do the White Hills hate us? Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Uh, the White Hills want our iron The White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Uh, who is the, the new lord? lord of House Forrester? White Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Uh, what will happen to me now? <coughs> Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Royland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose circumstances of my circumstances, what do you mean? The Lord Forrester promoted me. At the twins, I, I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Uh, can I see, can I see Ethan? Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Okay, uh, I want to show him the sword. Never mind. Show him the sword. I'll admit. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of 50 generations? Okay, so. Uh, talk to. Feeling alright? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. 
Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Glass. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. <laughs> but it's still light. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Ah, oh, here we go you again. You were with Roderick, no? I think I'm this... I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you uh, can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forest. I'm not going to say about... So this is where it belongs. With his family. The grave, Thank but I'm you. sure this is where I went wrong of last course. time, keeping My secrets, but... It demands a response. Oh, here it's we go. dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royla. I do, but now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? I still think I'm picking the choices that I picked last Ramsey time. Ramsey Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. Uh, you asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. We need My to be smart. Right. We need to be smart, smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that Damn, came no. from. That, I'm so, sure this is what happened last time. Oh, God. Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. I think I'm making, going to end up making the same mistakes as uh, I did last time. Oh, God. This house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not uh. faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot what? stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy I'm gonna go silent. Enough. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I understand what he's saying, so I'm going to go. I'm afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. It's amazing, isn't it? Like in these times, how like one little, one little thing just like changes the whole outcome of various you people's lives. And I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I think I am going to end up how it ended up last time I played it last year, and I'm going to end up making all the wrong choices that I think are right, but are wrong, and just get everyone killed. And I, 
Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would, and God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. Tell him. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Uh, Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. Yes. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. I feel... You caught me by surprise. Uh, he said, tell only you. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. Who? From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. What? I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. I vaguely remember what the North Grave is, but I can't remember at the same time. I am from ice. I am from ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Oh, it's such a sad thing, isn't it? It... Just literally how like it all just changes like that. Garrett, wait! Oh tell ya. We'll, we'll take that, thank you. Be safe. I reckon uh, Lord Forrester was going to make him a knight, so they could end up getting married. Uh, since she's only like his second daughter, so like Mira would have been his first daughter, so she would have been married to another house. But I think she might have married uh, Garrod at some point. Oh, he's a sly one. Look at his smile. <laughs> I couldn't find him. Pardon Did me. You? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's uh, fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. We'll be nice you and polite. Me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. Stupid game. I don't <laughs> like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. Bless him. He's just lost his father, lost his brother, brother or brothers, his sister, and I think Garrod is his friend but as well. Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, <coughs> she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Ah. Mr. Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. Uh, yes, Garrett. Garrett is nice. smart. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. But I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. 
He says you can't fight very well. What? Um, he calls you a milksop. <laughs> uh. Sir Roiland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, okay. you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Where was Still I? That you stick. weren't born yet. <laughs> we had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, a lord in training. He never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities. But you don't yeah. need to be like them. I, I promise, promise I won't change. I, I think change. I made this Good, choice as well I'd last time. I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So <laughs> I can have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. Uh, as many as you'd like, yes. Oops. Really? Of course. I think I've annoyed this, the twin. Oh dear, Ryan will remember that. Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. <coughs> Off we go to be a lord. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. Oh dear. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. Uh... If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I'm Lord gonna Whitehill stay. Mean old man anyways. I'd rather stay here. Tell him I'm busy at the moment. Perhaps the Lord could play games after he tends to business. He's right. It's okay. Oh dear. You should go. Fine. Let's be done with it. I bet I've really pissed him off now, haven't I? Here we go, this is it, we're going to meet the miserable old man, or the old sop, the milk sop. Are they Boltons they or what? They unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrod. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrod is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you wished to stay. If you wish to stay lord of this house, then show him the same defiance. Let's not do something rash. Uh, Things are bad enough as it is. Let's see what I should say to him. Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Oh, here we go. I've got to try to remember play this safe now. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. I'll shake his hand. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dice <laughs> heart myself. Crafty son. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The foresters finally get their due. I'm going to remain silent. Aye. Hold your tongue, you coward. Guy, 
Every choice you make seems to be the wrong one. What kind of fucking with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Oh. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. You hoo-hoo! Uh, even. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, <coughs> Lord Whitehill? Oh, it's the bowl cut, man. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Right. Yeah, no. Attack for no reason. Garrett was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. Okay, so How do you quiet. answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. Uh, and you are the Lord. We'll say he did as any man would. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men <coughs> murdered Although I think the that's the wrong you choice. Pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me. Who's the one who did it? You heard me. He was sent to the wall. It's done. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I think I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? <laughs> A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. He's a sly one, this, isn't he? This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. She looks like um, an older version of Sansa Stark. That lad may be Lord of this house but lord bolton will have the final say i'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own that the new lord forester lied to my face and denied me my justice then we'll see whose word is law but we did it uh do as you like lord whitehill i think i called him a craven last time and he proper went off on one Probably be. Oh, he's horrible, he is. Bowl cut. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Well, I, I'm, I, hopefully that went okay. Fingers Your crossed. Can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Right, guys. I'm going to end this episode here because it's gone on for well over half an hour now. Um, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I do apologise that I'm not talking this much. Um, two reasons. Mainly, the, the main reason is because I, I get too engrossed in this uh, these types of games. Um, and I forget that I'm recording. And I'm just like, every, everything that's said, 
and process it, processing it all because you've got to like you've got to really think. So obviously, like the one wrong answer, uh, you could screw everything up like later down the road. So I'm, I'm trying to like pay attention to what's saying and look for hints and tips and everything. So I do apologise about that. And the other reason is obviously because I'm full of flu and my nose is all blocked up. So it's like I have to choose between talking and breathing, which is a pain because I can't breathe out my nose because of my bloody blood vessels are blocked and swollen. So yeah. Um, so hopefully, 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 hopefully I've made the right choices so far. What do you think, Ghost? Eh? Have we made the right choices? I don't think Ghost cares, to be honest. I don't think he's bothered in Game of Friends who Game of Friends Game of Thrones who wins it or who dies um, but we'll find out if I have in the next episode over the next few episodes even so once again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later take care bye